家好，奉名之名来。Can you imagine how wonderful it would be if you could communicate with everyone around the world in their own language? You see, I'm here in Tokyo writing an email to 15 persons from different languages. It would be much easier if I could write the message in my native language and they could understand it in theirs. This is now possible with UNL, an acronym for Universal Networking Language. UNL is an electronic language that only the computer needs to understand. The Internet today is connecting computers around the world. The Internet is eliminating the distance barrier and connecting people. Now we need to break the language barrier. We are breaking this barrier with UNL. We are introducing the UNL, an electronic language for the Internet that promotes communication among peoples of the world. The Internet has emerged as a global information infrastructure, revolutionizing access to information, as well as the speed by which it is transmitted and received. With the technology of electronic mail, for example, people may communicate rapidly over long distances. Not all users, however, can use their own language for communications. Even though access to the Internet is worldwide, language barriers make communication difficult. Let's take the EU as an example. With 15 countries and 12 different languages spoken, language barriers exist. Communications are smooth between the same languages, but not between different languages. Although the Internet is a powerful infrastructure, not everyone may take full advantage of it. But now, a new electronic language can take these language barriers away. Using UNL, Universal Networking Language, Internet users can now transmit and receive information in their native language. Look, the lines of communication become smoother and quicker. The UNL was created to facilitate dialogue among people, the dialogue among the civilizations. This was the philosophy that motivated all of us. It was the philosophy of Dr. Nishi. It was also the philosophy of Dr. Uchida, who is here now to introduce the background of the UNL. Since the advent of computers, researchers around the world have worked towards developing a system that would overcome language barriers. While many different systems have been developed, each has its special representation of understanding a language. This results in incompatibilities among systems. Therefore, it is impossible to break language barriers in all the world, even if we get all the results together into one system. Against this backdrop, the concept of UNL as a common language for all computer systems was born. With the approach of UNL, the results of past research and development can be applied to the present development and make the infrastructure of the future. Let's explain how UNL can be used through the Internet. Very simply, any person with access to the Internet will be able to enconvert text written in their own language into UNL text. And likewise, any UNL text can be deconverted into a variety of native languages. To illustrate this, let's look at a home page developed in Arabic. 
Through UNL, we will be able to read this page in Spanish. The processes of N conversion and D conversion are provided by a language server which resides in the network of the Internet. The N converter N converts a language into UNL, while the D converter D converts UNL into a native language. In this example, the Arabic language server and the Spanish language server provide the conversion service. When home pages are developed in Arabic, the UNL editor recognizes the contents as Arabic and sends a request to the Arabic language server to N-convert the text. Once the Arabic text is N-converted to UNL, the Arabic language server sends the results back to the UNL editor. Homepage designers can now embed UNL into their pages. When we read this page in Spanish, the UNL viewer recognizes the contents as UNL and sends a request to the Spanish language server to deconvert the text. Once UNL is deconverted into Spanish, the Spanish language server sends the results back to the UNL viewer. As you see, the text, once converted to UNL, may be converted to many different languages. For example, home pages can be designed in one's native language and then N converted to UNL before being uploaded. Once a home page is expressed in UNL, it can be read in a variety of languages. By the year 2000, more than 12 languages will be supported by UNL. With these languages, approximately 75% of the world's population will be represented. Moreover, the official languages of all 185 United Nations member states are expected by the year 2006. It is our hope that users in the world will facilitate the development of the language servers. With at least one language server for each native language, let's look at how a language server is developed. To review, a language server has two software programs residing in it, an N-converter and D-converter. But how is a language server developed? During the processes of N-conversion and D-conversion, two files are used. The first file is a dictionary that lists correspondence between the universal words of UNL and the words of a native language. The second file lists grammatical rules, the N-conversion and D-conversion programs, together with these two files, constitute the N-converter and D-converter. Each is specific to a particular language server and should be developed according to the UNL specifications and the UNL knowledge base. With this basic architecture in place, anyone can participate in the development of a language server. For example, Several different firms could develop language servers and introduce them into the market. With competition among different servers, users could then choose the language server that best meets their needs. Let's look at a demonstration of the UNL system. This is a UNESCO homepage featuring text that describes the Great Barrier Reef, a World Heritage Site. Using this text, we will generate UNL using the UNL editor and the N converter. This is UNL. The UNL editor recognizes and understands the relationship between words in the original sentences and N converts it into UNL. Let's deconvert this text.
The UNL system can be used in many ways in various locations around the world. For example, it is easy for us to imagine UNL being used in fields as diverse as e-commerce, medicine, social welfare, business, libraries and entertainment. In addition, UNL can expand the possibilities of other technologies such as voice recognition and voice synthesis software, thereby enabling virtual communication. For example, many universities have virtual university projects and UNL could become an important technology of these. In short, we are confident that the applications of UNL will improve both access to knowledge and support distance learning throughout the world. It seems impossible what we just saw, but it is possible. If man was able to reach the moon and was able to break the code of DNA, why wouldn't it be possible to break the language barrier? This is the exploit that the generation of this millennium can offer to generations of the future millennium.